Want to know how to craft that sick explodey chest that lets you clear in-game maps like they're nothing? And also want to be able to do it without spending a ton of currency? Well, I've got a guide for you that actually works in solo cell found for crafting an explodey chest with resists and life and even a chance to gain power charges on crit. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Big Ducks here, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, that's right, you can craft your own explodey chest even in solo cell found. Six link and all. Honestly, six link is probably the hardest part of this. So when I say that you can craft it yourself, I actually crafted an explodey chest, which you'll see later on in this video, with my own seeds. I bought absolutely nothing except for the base. It's the only thing that I bought. Six linked it myself, got all the seeds myself from just mapping, and we got an explodey chest, which I'll put up on the screen right now. It's got life, chaos resist, it's got chance to gain power charge on critical strike, it's got the explodey. So if you wanna know how to make this stay around, I'm gonna give you the exact instructions step-by-step step on how to make this chest. Remember, if you like this content and you want more people to see it, make sure to like this video. Also consider subscribing for more content similar to this. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so actually crafting the explodey chest, this is super simple. SSF possible, don't even worry about it, it's not that bad. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is get the base itself. You either need to kill an eye level 83 Baron or an eye level 83 Cirrus. That's because you need an eye level 85 crusader chest piece. That's the minimum level that the explodey mod can roll on. You can kill either of those, you can get this chest piece, or you can just buy it. Once you've got the base, if you wanna six link it yourself, I have a video that'll tell you how to do it. It's gonna be up in the top right corner right now. Once you need to be able to get the colors, if you just need one off color, just craft it on the bench. Just craft like one green, one red, whatever you need. If you need a bunch of off colors like what I've got here, use the modifier on the bench that says change two random sockets into whatever colors that you need. If you need a bunch of blue and green, you hit it with change two random colors into blue and green. That's the easiest way to go about it. Just hit it with that a whole bunch of times until you get the colors that you need. So now you've got your base, right? You've got your six link base. It's all the colors that you need. It's the Crusader chest piece, I level 85, you need to craft it. So I'm actually just gonna give you the exact list of instructions. They're gonna go on the screen right now. So read up those instructions there. I'm not even gonna talk about them. They're self-explanatory. Just follow them step by step by step and you will get to your chest piece at the end. What that means is it's going to give you a chest piece that has life, it's got a resist, it's got 15% chance to gain a power charge and critical strike if you want that doesn't have to get that. It's gonna give you explode, and if you choose not to have the gain of power charge on critical strike, you'll get an extra resist. That's the only thing that you really need to know. Follow those instructions. I mean, it really is as simple as what you see on the screen. I'm not joking you. You just take the chest piece, you roll it, you augment fizz a whole bunch of times, you augment crit if you want the crit, and then you remove a lightning, you add on a life, and it's done. That's literally it. There's nothing else to do. It's as simple as that. I don't have to go through a whole full video of giving you every single step-by-step -step instruction and telling you one by one and all that kind of stuff. It's not needed. For anybody who wants to be able to do things like that, after this, you're going to actually see me craft this chess piece live on twitch.tv slash big ducks. You should go follow me over there, by the way. I stream pretty much every day, Monday through Friday. I'm gonna put those clips there. I'm gonna cut them all up and put them together so that you can see me craft this chess itself if you wanna have an example. So first thing we're gonna look at is we need, we're probably gonna do a strength chest. Um, it's a Crusader chest piece, right? Crusader is the one that does the explodey, yeah it is. Put an eye level 85 astral plate. Yeah, it's gotta be an eye level 85 astral plate. All right, so Crusader, yes. Item level 85, it's probably gonna be expensive. I would assume that this is going to be expensive. For an eye level 85 astral plate, what's the cost? 1.5X? That's honestly not too bad. I kind of expected it to be more. I have one that is a white base. Oh, as in you have one. Like you just have like a normal white non-item Crusader base uh, 85 Astral Plate. Well, are you wanting to sell it or are you going to craft it yourself? I'm trying to move it, need money for a cluster deal. What do you want to sell it for? Looks like the price is anywhere from 1.5 to 1.7 right now. Yeah, I'll buy it for 1.5 OF. Fine. You look like fucking Sylvanas. What are you doing? You just need more, like, fucking bikini armor, dude. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 85, Crusader, Astral Blade. Alright. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Alright, so we need to get this to 12. 11C is quite a bit for each perfect fossil. So I think we're probably just going to go the lazy route here. Oh, we only have the low quality one too. That kind of sucks. Could be way easier. We could be like 10, 14% higher than this, but should be fine. 
Okay, not too bad. Gotta use something, gotta use these fucking fusings for something, boy. I kind of miss my old mouse sometimes because it had like a free flowing mouse wheel. Cause you could just like spin it and just let it run. Incoming Carvel Tunnel, yeah. I hold my mouse a certain way while I'm doing this that makes it not hurt as bad. I kind of hold it like from the side and just barely, barely click on the very edge. I put 800 fuse on mine and still didn't six link. The quality matters. 800 is probably not enough for a standard six link. Like we could have spent the extra money to make sure that this was like 48% quality, but we might not link it. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, that's cool. I want that in my hideout, dude. Can I get that somehow? Can I get this mural in my fucking hideout, dude? God damn. You have 780, 750. That's apparently what an exalt is worth. Yeah, okay. I'll buy it from you then. Uh, they go in stacks of 20, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 500. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 750, yeah. No, Extreme's, um, Extreme's getting me. You, you're looking, you're looking homeless, dude. You okay over there? Character's looking, uh, you got the, you got the weird bowl cut going on. You got, you got the fucking rags. Looking good, dude. How goes the crafting? Um, we're stuck on six linking at the moment. Never mind. All right, so we got it. Uh, let's begin. All right, so what we need to do here, we'll do harvest crafting colors because otherwise getting six off colors is going to be a little tough. All right, so we need to get just a high resist, right? So we're just going for one high resist and then we regal it. And then, well, it has to be a non-lightning resist. We have to get cold or fire. Okay, so we need to alteration this until we get a high cold or fire resist. And then we need to regal it and hope that we get something that we can remove. That's the play. Because if we get like high cold, then all that we do is we just fizz slam it until we get physical mod, until we get the explodey. And then we can remove the percentage of physical damage taken as lightning. Just craft the rest of it up. Okay, that's good. Chaos resist is nice. So we regal this and we hope to get something that we can remove. Does that brick it? I actually think that bricks it. Oh, I could use both is what you're saying. Remove a non-fire and then if it lands, remove whatever fire it adds. Yeah, I guess we could do that. It's kind of expensive, but I mean, is what it is. Yep, bricked. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. That's that's actually fucking hilarious. All right, so so we regal it again, and we see if we can get something that can be removed. <sighs> that's a really good life roll. I don't know if we have remove life. It's probably not gonna let me do it, right? Like if I if I click this, it's just gonna say no. Yeah, okay. Okay, so okay, so hear me out. We could theoretically right now just augment a bunch of fizz rolls on it, right? Because there is a chance that we get explodey chests, right? There's no downside to doing it, right? Because there is a chance that the very first one is explode. Like there there is a small chance. We're just accepting the fact that we are most likely going to get reflect fizz. That's the only way to like guarantee this item. Like we're accepting that that's gonna be on there. Um, there's only four fizz modifiers that exist for this chest piece, right? There's only four. All right, so we're just gonna augment fizz. This is most likely gonna give us thorns. The chances of this giving us thorns is very, very high. Okay, so we got the thorns one. Remove a random physical modifier from an item and add a new physical modifier. I mean, we could just slam this one on it, right? Like, we could just use this one just because there's no reason not to, yeah? Okay, so that's 3% of physical damage reduction. That's actually the good roll, so that's good. You can just keep using blue and green until you hopefully get the colors that you want, right? Like, you could just do that. Like, you just keep doing blue and green until you get the right colors. So you just pop that in there. Almost. It's three green, three blue. It's very close, actually. Two random sockets, blue and green. Oh, there we go. All right, we got our colors for now. Augment a magic or rare item with a new physical modifier. Okay, so it's still a very, very low chance to get explodey, right? Most likely what we're going to get right now is we're almost assuredly going to get thorns, right? Augment a new fizz. 
and we got thorns as i expected okay augment with a fizz okay so we could we could just get it right here most likely what we're gonna get here is gonna be the take fizz as lightning that's most likely what we're gonna get here so we got the take fizz as lightning it's kind of what i was expecting i guess we can try doing the remove a random physical modifier and add a new physical modifier i don't know how this one works is there, there's probably a chance that it just removes thorns and adds thorns, right? Like it could just remove and add the same exact modifier, right? But it's probably just going to be the same exact chess piece. Yeah, it's just the same exact chess piece. It actually removed the thorns and added the thorns back. Just the lower roll of the same thorns. If I remove a random non-physical and add a new physical, the only possible outcome is if it removes the life and adds explodey, right? That's the only possible outcome, I'm pretty sure, right? Because it can't remove the chaos because there's no more suffixes, right? But remove a random physical and add a new physical will always remove that thorns, right? So we should probably roll this first in just the minute case that we remove the thorns and add the explodey, right? Like this, the only thing that it can remove actually is the thorns, right? Can't remove anything else. It could remove the physical damage taken from hits as lightning damage. It could remove that and replace it with either the same mod or... Uh, or explodey again. So we'll do remove a random physical first and see what we get. <laughs> we got, is that tier one reflect? <laughs> now we just do non-physical and this should remove life and add explodey guaranteed, right? It did. Okay, so is we need to remove a lightning modifier. Remove a random lightning modifier. Did my game just crash? I really fucking hope that my game didn't just crash with that in there. Remove a random non-critical modifier from an item and add a new critical modifier. If I crafted a suffix onto this, it would guarantee to remove some random suffix and put it on there, right? Like it may actually remove the chaos resistance, but it would put the, um, the what's it called on there, right? The chance to gain a power charge, if I wanted that. It would force it to remove a suffix. If I crafted a suffix on here, it would force it to remove the suffix, and I would have a two out of three chance of getting what I wanted it to do. This gives us basically like a two and three chance to hit something like, we might just hit the all attributes. It's like a one and three chance to get like a perfect outcome, two and three chance to get a good outcome. If we do remove a random non-crit and add a new crit, because it has to remove a suffix now. We might remove the chaos which would be okay because we can still augment chaos back on there if we wanted to right or we can put whatever resist we want besides lightning we can't put lightning on there too easily so it's full on slots right so it's got six modifiers on it there's only one crit outcome possible and that is a suffix so for this to be able to work for it to add a new crit modifier it has to remove a suffix because that's the only crit modifier that's available on this chess piece. So what we want this to hit is we want it to hit attributes. Um, we want this to hit attributes. It hit the damage reduction. Okay, that's fine. So we kept the chaos res. Actually, I think the, da the damage reduction was probably the better one, wasn't it? Okay, so now we need to use our remove lightning. Remove a random lightning modifier from an item. So it only has one lightning modifier, which is the prefix. So remove a random lightning modifier from an item. So now it has an open prefix, and now we aug life. But so we need augment life. I don't know what color augment life is. It's yellow, it looks like. Move a random life modifier, add a new life modifier. I need to just augment life first. Augment item with a new life modifier. Okay, so no other life modifiers on here. Okay, so we just augment a new life modifier. See how it rolls? Rolled really poorly. So we have another augment life. So we can do we can do the remove and augment life. Remove a random life modifier. Remove and then augment a life again. 63 is okay. It's not great though. Yeah, tier seven life's not good enough. We'll re-roll it again because it doesn't really matter. Remove a random life modifier, add a new life modifier. Remove a random life, add a new life. Big life roll, boys. Remove a random life modifier. Remove a ran random life modifier. Add a new life modifier. There we go. It's good enough. Tier three. Now we go and remove the attributes and we just craft colder as on it, I think. All right, chest piece done. Yeah, and then you can just replace the cold res with whatever you want. And at what point do you vol it? Fuck off, Iliani. All right, so we need strength now. 
We're not volleying this shit. I know you have a fucking fascination with me volleying my chess pieces, but we're not doing it, okay? Not doing it. And that's it. That wasn't too hard, right? You watched me do it. I gave you the instructions. You should be able to do it right now. If you can't and you really do need help, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below. You can ask some people in there or you can get some tips from me directly if I happen to not be busy. Other than that, take the things that I've told you in this video and start to apply them to your own crafts. If you make something really awesome, tell me about it down in the comments, or like I said, join the Discord and show it off in one of the channels. There's a Pee Wee General channel meant just for that. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like to help me out, and also consider subscribing so you can see more content similar to this. Now stay safe out there in Ray Class, and I'll see you guys in the next video.